Now, do you remember the days when you wanted to buy the latest single by your favourite artist? You had to pop down to your local record shop. Happy days. But as tapes, CDs and now digital downloads took over, many stores were forced to close. It's now come full circle as vinyl is growing in popularity again. And to celebrate the fact, this Saturday is National Record Store Day, as Ben Sidwell's been finding out. I've only got 20 minutes a day, but it's very easy to spend entire days in a record shop. There's still something rather special about a vinyl record. The days may be gone when our high streets were full of record stores, but slowly they're starting to creep back in. West Midlands obviously got a great culture for music and always had fantastic bands. The shops there are springing up. There's new shops open in Birmingham, Warsaw, Wolverhampton, Shrewsbury. To mark this year's Record Store Day, one Birmingham band, Goodnight Lenin, decided to undertake a project to record, mix and produce a vinyl single in just one day. You grow up, you see your dad's kind of vinyl collection, you want to you wanna be a band who, who are on vinyl. Well, that's the way we want it to be anyway. In London, their hard work in the studio is turned into vinyl. Just 24 copies will ever be made, all being sold at independent record stores in Birmingham this Saturday. From an artist's point of view, it's great to be able to deliver something that you can you know, hold in your hand physically and be proud of it at the end of the process um, that we can then put into independent record stores and you know, kind of encourage people to go back to the old way and treasure the way they select and listen to music. Swordfish is one of the stores selling the very limited edition single. Well, we find more and more younger people buying vinyl, you know, they sort of, um, you know, if they like something, you know, the people that are serious about the music will go out and buy vinyl. Music may have become a very disposable commodity, but shops like this Hope Record Store Day will encourage more to treasure their vinyl. Well, Ben's at a gig tonight to celebrate National Record Store Day. Ben, the, these independent stores do actually have the support of the bands, don't they? Absolutely, yeah, the guys from Goodnight Lenin, they're playing here. It's part of all of that project, the 24-7 project that they are doing. And it's not just the smaller bands, the bigger bands as well. With me is Russell Leach from Editors, who are one of the biggest bands in the Midlands, certainly at the moment. And Russell, I mean, for you and the guys, is yeah. vinyl important? Absolutely, yeah. Me and Tom both uh, buy our records on vinyl, you know, the ones that we like the most. And, uh, you know, love the packaging, it feels great and plays great. It sounds the best. How important is it that bands like yourselves, you know, you've had four top ten albums now, are supporting independent record stores and it's not just all online. Uh, absolutely, you know, uh, you know, there's, there's a great thing about going into a, a record store and, uh, you know, talking to somebody about music and uh, them opening up, uh, you know, their knowledge to you and that's important, you know. And what about when you look at the vinyl as a whole, there are more bands doing this sort of thing, not just mm. Goodnight Lenin. Is there more demand? Are fans wanting that? I think so, because, you know, digitally, you just get it, you download it. There's not much packaging, and I, th I think people like to have something in their hands, you know, to see the artwork, to see what the band looked like, you know. Um, artwork just looks beautiful on, on a 12-inch. Just finally, very quickly, couldn't have you here without finding out what the guys are doing. I mean, it was a big year last year, another album, but what about this year? Uh, yeah, we're still uh, touring that record, and uh, we're going to go uh, into the summer festivals and uh, hopefully a trip to South America this year, our first time. Fantastic. Well, best of luck with that. And if you do want to find out a bit more about National Record Store Day, remember it is on Saturday, but BBC WM from 9 o'clock, Danny Kelly, well, his programme will be coming and they'll have bits from all sorts of uh, the other independent record stores across Birmingham. So well worth a listen on Saturday morning. Thanks a lot, Ben. Still got loads of them, actually. Well...